Hello and welcome to the video series of VPN configuration on Checkpoint Firewall. So we have seen basic configuration, we have added multiple subnets as part of encryption domain and then we try to reduce number of SS with the help of NAT. In this video we will repeat the task 1 which is to build a VPN tunnel but this time using a route based VPN. So we all know the difference between policy based VPN and route based VPN. So as of now in last 3 videos we have seen policy will decide which traffic will go over the VPN. Now a route will decide on top of policy a route will decide which traffic will go over the VPN. So it says repeat task 1 using a route based VPN and then we have to do the same testing again. And I have created just four tasks for this assignment. So next video series will cover all the advanced topics, how to build a VPN for overlapping networks, then VPN configuration and especially the authentication using certificates and one lab will be over dynamic uh, routing protocol, maybe with OSPF. So go to my test machine again. Let me clear out SAs first. So clear crypto Isaac account, clear crypto SA, and then clear crypto session. And zero here. So to start with the route based VPN configuration, first we need to have a tunnel interface. So let me go to web GUI and try to create a tunnel interface admin, then admin one two three okay network interfaces So we have one tunnel interface or what you can do here is click on add and select VPN tunnel. So here we have VPN tunnel interface but the state is down. So we'll try to bring this tunnel interface up. So click on add it. Uh, good. So we have got tunnel ID as one. Then peer has to be defined on this tunnel interface which is R2 which is right. And then we discussed in theory session this tunnel interface can be of two types which is numbered and unnumbered. So numbered will have IP address on the tunnel interface and unnumbered will not have any IP address. But it can be attached to any logical or physical interface to borrow the IP address. So here it was done with Ethernet 3. So it can be any interface basically. Uh, so click on OK here. And now go to routes. Now this 160.1.100. This should not go to a next hop IP address. It should go to one interface which is network interface and then VPN tunnel. Click on OK and save this. So now we have a route. So instead of a again this says it is a down okay we'll see what exact why it is down but uh, if you see 160.1.1.0 is now pointing towards tunnel interface so any traffic from 150 and 180 subnet to 160 will first go to tunnel interface so tunnel interface knows to which VPN it is associated which is this peer IP address. Now flow will be firewall will try to identify this IP address in VPN communities and once we identify one VPN community where we have satellite gateway as this IP address firewall will use the phase 1 and phase 2 configuration from there. So let's click on OK. Go to dashboard and try to fetch this updated topology. So let me do a fetch again. But V 
we do not have this tunnel interface okay wait so let's see why it is down so so if you see the option is disabled so i have enabled it click on ok interface is now up and we should see a route as well active okay towards tunnel interface and now if you go to dashboard topology section <coughs> and fetch this topology so we should see tunnel interface now and it was associated with ethernet c3 so that is the reason we have an ip address 203.1500.102 and now install policy so there is no restriction of having a route based vpn on both the sides so one side can be on policy based vpn and the other side can be on route based vpn so here now we have checkpoint firewall on the route based vpn and the cisco router on the policy based vpn so there should not be any issue so let's wait for policy to be pushed meanwhile we can see if we have essays okay so no essay as of now so we'll bring the tunnel up by initiating some traffic So go to R1 and initiate traffic from 150. It doesn't work. Okay. And if I do a initiate from 180, it still doesn't work. So go to firewall phase one I could see up phase two I could see up good and on Cisco show crypto Isaac camp SA you could see phase one on the Cisco is also up show crypto IPsec SA and you could see phase two is also up between the NATI address and everything is okay. Okay, now uh, if you will see the traffic, uh, let me go to the topology now because we have done a refresh of topology, that is the reason it is creating a problem. So, let me tell you what problem here is. So, if you see this 136.1.122 network has got this network, so that means there is no route behind this interface. So, uh, traffic is coming from 150 IP address which is behind this interface but is going towards 160 address to this interface and when response is coming but is being encapsulated, encrypted but the moment traffic gets encapsulated and decrypted the interface says I don't trust 160 subnet which is a problem. So, let me show you that in the logs as well we should be able to see. So I have done quit FW space CTL space Z debug then plus drop pipe grab and 160.1.1.1 for example. Initiate some traffic. And verify that in logs. So we do see address spoofing configuration. So let me add that to the interface. Hmm, maybe 2.0 for example. So this group has got one. Uh, okay, so we'll add this group to the 2-0 to this interface. Go to topology section. 136.1.1.2 and topology as of now says 
just the network defined by interface IP and net mask. So click on specific and select this group CV port 2 hyphen 0. Okay, okay, install policy and we should see a response back. So this is one classic case where internal has come up, but the data is not being traversed from R1 to R2. So we could see traffic is going from R1 to R2, R2 is also responding, but that traffic is now getting dropped on the firewall because of address spoofing configuration. So it should work uh, once the policy has been pushed. Uh, it is still at 14%. Hmm, okay, so in few seconds we should see the response back and here it is and now I'm able to ping as well from R1 loop back 150 and from 180 as well. Good. So that's all I have in my mind for this video. Thank you very much and I hope you are enjoying this video series. I'll come with a new video series on VPN configuration with some advanced scenarios. Thank you.